here in the Show Me St. Louis kitchen for our recipe of the day. Hot Italian dip. Ruth Guerri is the woman behind the cooking blog, Cabin in the Woods. Hi, Hi. Hi Dana, how are you? I'm good, thanks for being here. Thank you. I've been to your house. It It is just that, a cabin in the woods. Uh, describe it for people, because it it's is. amazing. It is, we live in a cabin in the woods that we built 32 years ago, in fact, Today's our anniversary. Oh, we got perfect. married and we start building this log cabin. So um, it's a cabin in the woods, and then we have a shop, a barn out back where, since our horses are gone, we closed it in and made it into an antique shop. There's the, the cabin. It's so cute. That's, you're that's you're what just a fascinating is. person. Thank and you. Uh, this is one of the recipes <clears throat> on your blog. Um, so, what's the first step here for making this okay, dip? Okay, this is a hot Italian dip. And this will, this is a very robust dip. It's very thick. You may have to spread it with a knife, but okay. this will stand out on your appetizer table. So in this bowl, we have borzen cheese mm. and cream cheese and a little mayo. And I have cooked the Italian sausage with uh, onion and of course a lot of garlic. So we're going to add that. Because you're Italian. You know, I'm sorry, I am Italian. I'm sorry. Oh, we, we do we're something gonna, first. We're sorry. Do, well, gonna, that was my bad. What do we do first? <laughs> Here, you like to cook? I do. Here you go. Dump that in. All of it. Okay, those are pepperoncinis, Ooh. sliced pepperoncinis. That's a, that's some heat there. Perfect. And th these are sun-dried tomatoes chopped up. Oh, I'm loving this okay, already. Okay, so we're going to stir this in. And now, let's do the Italian sausage. Okay. Now we do this. And this is it's thick and it's hard to stir, but it is so good. And, and you there just you come go. up with recipes. This is just comes naturally mm -hmm. to you. It does, you know, you, you know you have to have certain elements in a dip and you have to have cheese and of course I'm Italian so let's get a lot of garlic in there and some Italian sausage. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh that looks so good. All that right. is a, you're right, that would stand out on your Super Bowl. Oh it's snack wonderful. So display. and you you could actually go ahead and put this on the baguettes and serve it as a bruschetta. Oh yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be dip. Okay, Daniel, I need to try this. We're going to oh, I'm gonna have, done, have you help me. This is the casserole dish. If you oh, you that. have because you got to heat this first. You oh, we're gonna bake this, it. You got to bake gonna, it. We're gonna bake it. I was thinking we were done. Hold on, I'm not very graceful with this. That's okay. You it's heavy. You're right. It is. It's, it's very heavy. It's heavy. It takes two women. It does. Okay. <laughs> okay can okay. I sample it? Sure. I'm gonna grab this. Uh, now you're, you're gonna want to sample the hot. Oh, the hot. I mean, Excuse this is me. good too. This I'm, is good too. But <laughs> I'm coming over here, guys. I know I'm not in your camera angle, but you know, it's how it goes. Okay. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh, okay. Hi. Mm. How is that? Mm. Is it good? Mm. Is it good? You're so good. Okay, now there's one more quick step here, guys, oh, and that wow. is to, of course, it's Italian, so we're gonna spread on mm. the parm. And this is about a oh, third cup, half cup Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle it on. Thank you okay. so much. That is. And little basil. An amazing. A little oregano. Little basil, little oregano, and we bake it. We bake this now 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Perfect. It, you got to try that. Thank you so much, Ruth. We'll post this recipe after our show to our Facebook and Instagram pages. And if you're ever looking for a recipe we featured on the show, visit ksck.com slash recipes. For more great recipes by Ruth, visit cabininthewoodsblog.com.